Hey, what's up, Facebook? About that time to get that shout out for all the frontline and essential workers. You know, I always start off with the flag and everything. So, uh, anyway, hope everybody's having a good day. And, uh, you know, as soon as that music gets started, I'll go ahead and do that. Like the flag with the the shadow right there, like that. I think that's pretty cool. My plants. Sugar boom boom. I'm chasing dragon. This dragon got my hair. After six o'clock PM, time to give shout out. It's six twenty PM. I'm chasing dragon. This dragon's got my hair. Sugar boom boom. I'll rob them people, but I'm an honest man. Let me tell you straight up, homie, this story's not rehearsed. Done my share of drogas, but we. Hello! West Alameda! It's after six o'clock! It's time to give a shout out! And thank you! To all the front line, the essential workers, to the doctors, the nurses, the longshoremen, the bus drivers, the truck drivers, the farm workers, those who work in the stores, the restaurants, the hotels, postal employees, counselors, teachers, parents. So please, you hear my voice? Would you clap your hands, honk your horns, shout, make some noise? Frontline workers, thank you. What's up, Facebook? So I guess ain't nobody trying to make noise out here no more. <laughs> but that's all right. You know, I'm not doing it for, you know, for people to do it. If they do it, they do. If they don't, they don't. You know, it's, it's all right. Uh, I'm just doing it. It's just my way of trying to say thank you for what they're out there doing for us. So, uh, anyway... What's going on right here? Mm, who that is over there? All right, here we go. Today is day 454. Since April the 1st, 2020. This is the 454 day since I've been doing this shout out thing. And as of 5 o'clock p.m., according to the Coronavirus Pandemic Live on YouTube, today on June 28th, it's 3,949,518 throughout the world who died from coronavirus. And right here in the United States, 619,000 576. This is in the red. Look over in the black, which was yesterday. 3,943,185. And in the United States, 619,434. Let's see if I got my math right. Four from six is two. Three from seven is four. Four from five is one. So 142, yeah. So that's more than what we had yesterday. Yesterday we was like 101. And today it's 142. I mean, every everyone who dies, it's, it's, it's the death of, of a loved one, a family member, you know, a neighbor. But, you know, we're... We're we're fighting back, you know. It's, you know, just uh, pray for all those. 
And this is what it was in April 2020. 263,000 all over the world and 73,000 here in the United States. Hold on, my grandbaby just showed up hello. and she wants to say hello to everybody. Hello. My grandbaby, tell me your name, grandbaby. Phoenix. Who? Phoenix. Phoenix. Are you going to sing Phoenix? Phoenix. That's a pretty song, Phoenix. Thank you. You're welcome. This is not karaoke, girl. <laughs> Give a little kiss. Who do you want to say shout out to? Who do you want to say thank you to? People who've been working for us, helping us. Hmm? Okay, come on now. Okay. Doctors, nurses, who? Um, probably teachers. Teachers, very good. I like that. Your teachers are going to be proud of you. Give me a kiss. Mm. All right, love you. Mm. Okay, Come little on. fish. Bye bye. <clears throat> uh, teachers, huh? Okay, that's pretty good. So, how about prayers and thoughts? As always, I ask everybody to keep in your prayers and in your thoughts all those who have died, who have been victims of coronavirus, of COVID-19 uh, throughout the world and here in the United States. And also asking you to keep in your prayers and in your thoughts the victims at the Surfside, Florida, the condo that collapsed. As of today, the death toll is now 11, and they're still missing dozens of people. Uh, the last thing I saw was they were missing like about 150 people still missing. So, um, uh, so they've been working, doing everything they can, trying to dig through the rubble. And, you know, people are there looking for their loved ones and it's got to be chaotic. Um, so please keep them in your prayers and in your thoughts. Also want to ask you to remember everyone, all of those who have been killed, um, whenever, by those thugs, the drug dealers, the Ku Klux Klan, the Nazis, police, the gangbangers, the rebels, government troops, vigilantes, people who commit road rage, um, FBI, law enforcement, those co-workers like what happened down in San Jose and happens in the post office and any co-workers who just go crazy, you know, um, terrorists, domestic and foreign, uh, those people that go in and shoot up, shoot up schools and shoot up movie theaters and shoot up church, you know, um, domestic violence, ethnic genocide, uh, white supremacists, people who have died because of somebody's stupidity. Because somebody decided to drive drunk, somebody decided to drive high, or somebody thought they, they were able to, to function high and function while drunk, or somebody who stole a car and end up running over somebody and killing somebody who, you know, they happen to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. I know a lot of times people think they're able to function, and some people can. I guess there's such a thing as functioning alcohol alcoholics and functioning uh, drug users but I'm talking about the ones who just lost it and killed somebody so I ask you to remember all of them I also want you I ask you to say the name of Ronald Green say his name he was murdered by the Louisiana State Police on May the 10th 2019 and um, also Angelo Quinto December 23rd, 2020, right here in Antioch, California. Um, it was an in-custody death, you know. Um, so look them up on, you know, I don't want to keep talking about what happened and stuff. So just look them up on Facebook, look them up on Google, on YouTube. And, you know, there's the names and you judge for yourself. You see for yourself, you know, whether their death was lawful, legal, or 
within the guidelines of law enforcement or whatever, or whether or not they just executed, especially in the case of Ronald Green, you know, um, and Angelo Kento too, you know, he, they basically was choking him too. But anyway, you guys look it up and see for yourself. Today is birthday shout out on June the 28th, 2021. I want to say happy birthday, Morris, Daisy, Glenda, Albert, and Kenneth Chow. Happy birthday, y'all. Hope you guys have a good day. And to my son, Antonio Macheo Dixon, wherever you are, son, happy birthday to you. Um, I hope everything's okay with you and, you know, wish you a happy birthday. And Sugar boom boom. I'm chasing dragon. This dragon got my hair. Sugar After boom 6 boom o'clock boom. p.m. time to give shout out, it's 6.30 p.m. Sugar boom boom. I'm chasing dragon. This dragon's got my hair. Sugar boom boom. I'll rob them people, but I'm an honest man. Let me tell you straight up, homie, this story's not rehearsed. Okay, so, historical birthday. Today, on June the 28th, in 1932, a man by the name of Pat Morita was born, and he died on November 24, 2005. For those of you who don't know him, he was actually Mr. Miyagi. Remember Mr. Miyagi from Karate Kid? Oh, yes. Yeah, well, that's... So that was his birthday today, Pat Morita. But he they called him his... His TV name was Mr. Miyagi. So Mr. Miyagi, I still call him Mr. Miyagi. Mr. Miyagi played in a whole lot of different movies. He, You know, look him up, too. Um, the, he was a great guy, okay? So here's to you, Pat Morita, also known as Mr. Miyagi. Happy birthday, happy birthday up in heaven, happy heavenly birthday, whatever. All right, thank you for, you know, doing what you did. Being that Asian American during a time when very few Asians um, in, in the movies and on TV, but you you killed it as Mr. Miyagi. And you also killed it in some other movies I saw you in too. All right, um, take care and happy birthday. So, Bahala Na. Today in Japan, the Olympian by the name of Gwen Berry. She was she throws them um, the hammer, I think. She protested during the national anthem. So, hey Teresa, what's up? <clears throat> so I I know that some of y'all who are real patriotic and stuff say that's that's wrong. You shouldn't be protesting the national anthem and all of that. But I think we should understand the national anthem was a racist song. It was a racist anthem. And so I totally agree with her. You know, she turned her back. I mean, that was what she did. She didn't take a knee, but she turned her back to the flag. It was like, she's not going to do it. So I give you thumbs up. <laughs> you know, give you a fist up. Give you all of that. Yes, uh, Gwen Berry. Hey, Teresa, I see you too. All right, Florida. So here's a case in, in Florida. State trooper by the name of George Spermios. Mm -hmm. He tased a 16-year-old African-American by the name of Jack Rodman for looking suspicious. He was not actually in a criminal act. So looking suspicious. Mm -hmm. So... The way the whole story goes, Jack was going to visit his girlfriend. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you're a teenager. You're not trying to walk all the way around to the front and stuff. You're going to go jump over bushes. jump. You know, you're going to take the shortcut go to your girlfriend's house. And that's what he was doing. So the, this cop named George, he saw Jack hopping over the fence, cutting through the bushes. And he ran up on him and told him, you know, Stop. So he's like, man, I ain't did nothing. So if you look on the YouTube, the cop has his taser pointed at him. Jack ain't doing nothing. He's standing there trying to call his girlfriend. Come on outside because I'm going to need you to be a witness and see what's going on. And so he's standing there. He's not even looking at the cop. He's trying to call his girlfriend. The cop tasers him. Jack falls down, and in the YouTube... He falls down and hits his head 
on a brick um, fireplace, a brick fireplace or something like that in the backyard. And then, you know, he's struggling and, and like say, oh, 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 I'm in pain. And the cop says, put your hands behind your back, put your hands behind your back. And he turns around and tases him again. The girlfriend comes out and she's trying to tell the cop that, you know, he's okay. He, he has permission to be here. My mom knows and all this other stuff. Eventually, Jack gets arrested for nothing. Well, he had marijuana in his pocket. He had marijuana in his pocket, refusing to obey uh, a lawful command of a police officer and for looking suspicious. Looking suspicious. Yes, Teresa, his head did break that fire pit. That's what there was, a fire pit. So he was looking suspicious. The cop had the nerve to say he was looking suspicious. Uh, do you know what looking suspicious is, grandbaby? Like when, like you look, like you've done something bad. Wait a minute, let me, let me, let me. You, how old are you, grandbaby? Seven. You're how old? Seven. So, if you're looking suspicious, is what? Uh, at looking like uh, you did something bad. Okay, so, but Jack did not do anything bad. Jack was going to his girlfriend's house. He was going to his girlfriend's house. And I'm not going to say Jack went up the hill to see Jill because I don't even know what his girlfriend's name is. Okay? Yeah. But Jack was going to see his girlfriend. So I don't know how is that being suspicious, but that's what the cop said. You know why the cop thought he was suspicious? Because he was hopping over the bushes. And you know why else? Look at the color of your skin. What are you? Black. You're black? You know what Jack was? Black. And you know what the cop was? White. Hmm. And seven years old, you know that the white cop thought that the black teenage boy was suspicious. And he didn't do nothing wrong. He didn't. He said, the cop said he looked like he had robbed somebody. How can you tell somebody robbed somebody? You ain't seen them rob nobody. Right? Right. So we know what's up. Teresa said, hey, grandbaby. Hello. Say hi, Miss Teresa. Hello, Miss Teresa. So that's what happened, okay? So that's what happened. And guess what else? They said because this 16-year-old boy evidently had run-ins with the police before, they're going to keep him in jail for 21 days. 21 days. And I guess he must have had a parking ticket or something, too. But check this out. Jack is biracial. You know what biracial means? No. Biracial means that you're mixed race. Do you know what you are? What are you mixed race with? Black and what? And Filipino. Black and Filipino. You black and Filipino? Yeah. So you biracial, huh? Yeah. Well, Jack is biracial too. You know what Jack's mama is? White. Mm. So that white cop did not care that Jack was half white. Because in this country, if you got one drop of black blood, that makes you what? Black. Mm-hmm. Don't matter if you got white blood in you. You got a lot of cousins that's half white too, don't you? Yeah. Right? You got cousins that's got white blood in them. But they, the, this country and the police don't look at you as being, as being white. They only look at you as being black because you got what? Black skin. Mm -hmm. But what if you light skin? Lolo's light skin. Light almost white bright. But what if you light skin... Like Jack was light skinned and he looked almost white, but they didn't care. All they knew was that he's a black guy. Warning! Warning! It's your sister. Your sister is. Okay, so that's what that's all about. Okay? okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you for coming to help me. Yeah. You're so smart. Your like my hair is really fluffy. My hair is fluffy. Let's mm -hmm. see. Your hair is fluffy too. Thank you. Okay. All right, back. All right. Let me finish this. Goodbye. Goodbye, grandbaby. Thank uh. you for coming to visit me. You're welcome. Okay. You're Goodbye. so sweet. You're so pretty. All right. Historical event. Oh, let me turn this thing around. Historical event. June 28th, 1914. The Archduke 
Franz Ferdinand of the Empire of Austria Hungary is assassinated by the Serbian Gaviros Princip, 19 years old. That happened on June 28th. World War I began one month later on July the 28th, 1914. And it lasted until November the 11th, 1918. As a result, 17 million people died during this war. 17 million World War One. Okay, so... There was a lot more to just the fact that the heir to the Austrian-Hungarian... After 6 o'clock p.m. time to give shout out, it's 6.40 p.m. So every time you hear that sugar boom boom, that means I, I need to hurry up because my time is almost up. Anyway, there was a lot more to this war besides the fact that... Um, Franz Ferdinand and his wife were, were assassinated. It's kind of like everybody was looking for a reason, had a lot to do with nationalism, imperialism, and everything else-ism, and all these people died behind this, what started this, okay? So, hey, y'all, um, I'm going to, because that was my last call, that was the last call, meaning that that sugar boom boom was letting me know that I, it's time for me to shut it down. Okay. So. Bahala na. Mabuhay. Amandla uetu. Harambe. Ashe. Okahe, Jayu, Mahalo, Que Viva, Shalom, Namaste, Assalamu Alaikum, Wa Alaikum Assalam, Insha'Allah, um, Wakanda Forever, uh, I don't know, I'm probably missing something, but hey y'all, you know, everybody stay safe, stay strong, keeping your prayers and your thoughts, all those. Keeping prayers and thoughts, me and mine, and I will keep in my prayers and thoughts, you and yours. And thank you, Teresa, for coming on here, you know. So, uh, earthquake was felt in Castro Valley? Whoa, okay, I didn't know that. Anyway, uh, this little thing came up while I'm talking on here. But I'm going to get up out of here, y'all. And I hope everybody does, has a good one. Um, I did go outside today. And it was it was, it was was a good day. It was a good day. It was really nice outside. All right, y'all. Stay safe. Stay strong. Peace. Mahalo. Peace. Mahalo. Power. <laughs> All that other good stuff. I'm out of here, y'all. My granddaughter said my hair looks fluffy. Fluffy? What is fluffy? Hmm.